gasped. I was never one to believe in love at first sight. But that's since changed. Poop-covered boots, dirty jeans, a ratty sweatshirt, and sweat-stained ball cap to top it all off. That was the first love, and I could not ever forget it. That look stole my heart. God crossed our paths that night at Sundance, and from the moment we made eye contact, we clicked. Our relationship has been anything but normal, but it has taught me to cherish every moment that we share together. Jared, I can't believe we finally made it here today. We have endured so much together over the last five years or so. Our story has not been easy, glamorous, or conventional, yet it has been so real. All of our trials have prepared us for a future together as husband and wife, and I cannot wait to face every adventure with you by my side. Since day one, you have shown me nothing but respect and appreciation, and I vow to treat you the same throughout the rest of our days. Jared, you have taught me so much about love and how to receive it. I have struggled my whole life trying to understand it, but with you, it just makes sense. Looks so good. <laughs> You're beautiful, man. You look so good. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. We hold Jared and Cassie up to you in prayer today. Thank you for friends and family who have all gathered to support them today. Thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you for the love Cassie and Jared have for each other. The eternal God, without you, no promise is sure. Strengthen Jared and Cassie with patience, kindness, gentleness, and all other gifts in your spirit, so they may fulfill the promises they make to thee. Keep them faithful to each other and to you. Fill them with such love and joy that they may build a home of peace and welcome. Guide them by your word to serve you all in deeds. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> May the wind always be at your back. May the rain fall soft on your fields. May you always have green grass and blue skies. May you always have cows to work and good horses to ride. May you always have the work ethic of Harley Hartman. May you always have the love and compassion that your parents taught you. May you always have a great dog and a crazy cat. May you always ride for the brand. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May God hold you in the palm of his hand and may God be with you and bless you. Amen. Jared, you may kiss the bride. They say you remember the moment that you meet your soulmate. So it was freshman year of CSU, it's move-in week. And um, basically, I walk into Jared's room and I pick up his duck calls, I blow a few cadences, and um, that's when I knew, uh, well, Jared knew he found his soulmate. So that was great. The song that I played earlier is called Tennessee Waltz and Cassie asked me to play it and it is a very, very special song in our family. We hold it very dear in our hearts and that is because it was our grandparents' song and they were married for 65 years. So it is extremely fitting that Cassie chose that song because I know that Cassie and Jared will leave a very, very similar legacy to our grandparents and I am just very excited to see that. I'd like to give a little bit of my perspective on the night that Jared and Cassie met. It was like any other Tuesday night. We'd head to Sundance, 
the Western Bar in Fort Collins. On that night, Jared had his eye on this girl, and it was a long, long, many 25 cent drinks later that we finally convinced Jared to go talk to this girl. So Jared and I go up, I grab a girl, ask her to dance, and Jared kind of just flops his wrists out. Luckily, Cassie reached back. And after that night, I remember coming home and Jared couldn't stop talking about Cassie. He was mesmerized and he was gonna do anything to chase that girl down. And that's when I realized, all right, Jared might not be my soulmate. <laughs>